car up front, would you please? Hello? Right. Yes. Well, I know it's last minute, but this is an emergency. Uh, could you check out any last minute cancellations? Oh, great. Mr. and Mrs. Tom Bryant. And we can uh, make connections from Little Rock to Russellville? Ozark, flight number two. Twin engine, it doesn't matter. Uh, when will we be coming back? We should be back in a few days. Three or four days, I, I don't know if the funeral... Uh, why don't you hold the return open? I'll have to call you. Yes, thank you. What is it? What's happened? Oh, Rachel, it's Marge. Your Aunt Marge and Uncle Ryan. They've been killed in an automobile crash. Oh, Mom. Oh, <laughs> oh God. It's all so temporary. I've been meaning to get us all together. You know, it's been ten years since the last time. Since we saw them. Ten years. My own sister. <laughs> Didn't they have a daughter about my age? Julia. Julia wasn't in the car. There was a girl killed with them. Uh, their housekeeper named of Sarah or something or other. They were taking her home when it happened. Come on, Dad. The car's ready. Well, you better hurry up if you want to catch that plane. Thank you, Peter. You're right. Your father and I have to go and do whatever we can. I'll call every day. You and Peter take care of Bobby. Tell him where we've gone. I, I didn't have the heart to wake him. Oh, Mom, he's too young to understand. I'm sorry. Do me a favor, will you, sweetheart? Call my office when they open. Tell my secretary what happened, and then I'll call from Arkansas. Of course, Dad. Take care. Mm -hmm. And uh, if there's no one there to take care of Julia. Well, we'll see. I, I'll call you. Behave, Rachel. Okay, Peter, thanks. Rachel, you practice hard for that horse show. We'll be back in time to watch you. Hey, that's good. That's good. Hey, looking like a champ. Hey, pull up and let's walk up for a while. Woo! How am I doing? Adequate. Adequate? <laughs> but I want to win this Just show. Just remember to stick in your saddle for a faster stop. And I'll have to spin a little more right rein and right leg. You know, the judge will be looking for those things, and they add up to big points. All right, okay. I just get so nervous before a show. Hey, you're a cinch to win. Besides, you got Mike Gallagher, don't you? The finest trainer in California. Adequate. Oh. Come over here. Yeah. You want to go down in the ring and run some more? Well, no, I gotta be getting back. Mom and Dad should be home. They're bringing back my cousin, Julia. Oh, so she's really gonna live with you guys? Yeah, for a while. We're the only family she has now. It'll be kind of nice, like having a sister. Oh, huh, what's she like? I don't know. She's a little bit older. But I haven't seen her since we were little kids, and they never sent any pictures. But I guess I'll find out pretty soon what she's yeah, like. well, one thing first. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you do that to all your students? No, only with my A students. <laughs> Right there. there That's it. Rachel, you remember Julia? Sundance in the barn and then help us figure out where Julia's gonna camp. She should stay with me. I got plenty of room. Come on, Clown. Are you all right? Yes, ma'am. I'm just not used to horses. Come on. That was quite a welcome. I know you're gonna like Rachel's room. It's really lovely.
I'm sorry it's messy right now. I'll clean it later. That's all right. Well, you sure have a lot of pretty things. Thank you. Your daddy's must make a lot of money. What's he doing? He's a stockbroker. Well, both my parents work. My mom's a freelance photographer, and well, I'm sure they told you all about it, so. Sure. Um, do you have many things? You can have these three top drawers here, okay? And half my closet. And, uh, you can have my bed if you like. It's a little more comfortable than that one. Well, thank you. Is he your solid feller? My? A boyfriend? I guess. Yes, you must be beat. Um, maybe you'd like to come out to the stable later and see Sundance? I know you get to be good friends if you just got to know them. No, thanks. Okay. See you later. Yeah, see, Mom and Dad got back. Uh, you bring Julia with them? Yeah, she's in my room taking a nap. Well, our room. Well, what's she like? Well, she's okay. Well, I mean, what can you expect? She's been through a lot in the last couple of days. But she'll be okay. Are you gonna rehearse tonight? No. Well, maybe tomorrow. Dance isn't for two weeks. Are you gonna stay home tonight? Why? Well, see, I've got a date with Mike tonight, and I kind of feel bad about leaving her here alone on her first night. But if you're here, then you can keep her entertained. No way. You're not sticking me with a cousin I don't even know while you're out having a good time. You can take her with you. She's kind of pretty. Anyway, let's go have some dinner, and you can check her out for yourself. She said she was coming right out. You're not going to get a chance to eat before Mike gets here. Girls. They're never on time for anything. Well, at least they wash the back of their hands. I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. Watch it, Bobby. Maybe I'd better go check on her. And you behave yourself, pumpkin. <laughs> oh, come on in, honey. Everything's getting cold. Hi, Julian. Sit down. Uh, this is Bobby, who wasn't even born when we last saw you. Uh, hi. And this, of course, is Peter. Uh, uh, hi. And you, uh, you look lovely, dear. Thank you. Been a long time since I've seen a girl at the table wearing anything but blue jeans. Oh, well, Julia goes to an all-girls school. I guess they dress for dinner there. Of course they dress for dinner. What do you expect? They come naked? <laughs> <laughs> but Julia was there on a full scholarship. Or was it a half scholarship? Half. Oh, somebody's coming. Huh? Oh, it's not just something that the Hill people say. It's an Ozark superstition. If somebody drops a plate at the supper table, it means that there's a visitor coming. You must have heard all sorts of creepy superstitions living in that area. My father talked about them a lot. He wanted atmosphere for the book that he was writing. That's why we hired Sarah, the housekeeper. She was raised back along the river bottom where people still believe in things like that. 
She taught him how to take you for up the top. You make it sound like um, a foreign country. It is, in a way. Did you have a backwoods boyfriend? No. The boys there weren't my type. Uh, say, listen, uh, I play a little bluegrass music on my guitar. And I'll play some for you after dinner, if you like. Julie was right. That's right. Somebody was coming. Hi, hon. Thank you. Hey, everyone. Hey, Rachel, how about introducing Mike to oh. your cousin? Oh, this is my cousin, Julie Tran. This is Mike Gallagher. Hi. I'll be back in soon. Hey. Sit yourself down, Mike. Hey. Hey, Bobby. Hey, Pete. This is Brian. How's the competition look, Mike? Oh, real good. Rachel's training hard, and Sundance is the best horse in the show. I see no reason whatsoever that she shouldn't ride away with that blue ribbon. Great. Uh, you see, Julia, we're just two weeks away from the big annual weekend at the club. A horse show on Sunday and a dance the night before. Yeah, my band's playing there. You really ought to come here. I play the lead guitar. Yeah, you should come with us, Julia. It'd be fun. Well, I... Maybe I'll... Um, if you need an escort, I'm available. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, Dad. Come on, Michael. Come on. Oh, well, yeah, it was nice meeting you, Julia. And uh, I live right across the road, so you're going to have to get used to me hanging around. I'd like that just fine. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Come on. Don't you think Julia has kind of a funny accent? What do you expect? She comes from the Ozarks. They think you talk funny down there. Yeah, but, I mean, she only spends her summers in the Ozarks. She's from Massachusetts, and she still goes to school up there. Hey, look at that gorgeous beauty. I waxed it this morning. <laughs> and did you see the clothes she wears? Oh, do you know I found a tooth in her suitcase? What in the world were you looking through her suitcase for, Ray? I wasn't looking through her suitcase. I happened to bump into it, and her stuff fell out of it. But she sure. had this little box. And there was a tooth in it. Well, maybe it's a good luck charm. You know, like a rabbit's foot. Or, uh, better yet, maybe she's a tooth fairy, huh? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But, uh, didn't you think there was a little something different about her? Her parents just died, Ray. You know, she just needs some time. <sighs> yeah, I guess. Hi, Mom. Hi. Oh, Julia. Mom, you help me convince her to go shopping today. She doesn't have any clothes with her, and she needs some more casual things. I, I don't know, Rachel. I, I feel funny about going out so soon. You might enjoy it, dear, and it'll get your mind off things. See, it's settled. We're going, okay? Sure, it's time we all started thinking on the brighter side. Besides, you look so pretty in some new summer outfit. Won't you? You're probably right. It might do me good. Wow, I can call Carolyn. She's my best friend. She works right across the street at the hospital. She gets off work at 3, so we'll meet her. That'd be nice. Great. I can drop you both off. Oh, you don't have to do that. It's only a 10-minute walk. No, no problem. Hey, look, the shopping center's right on my way. <laughs> That's very nice of you, Peter. You never offered before. But uh, we have some serious girl talk to do, so we'll walk. Bye. Bye. Sure is hot out today, isn't it? It's much more hot work. You must have every story. Hi. Hi. Hey, listen, you're feeling kind of crazy, but I think you like her. Listen, who says nurses have more fun? I have been schlumping bedpans all morning, and now they have the nerve to tell me I'm going to work the graveyard shift. Some fun. 
Hi, you must be the new girl on the block, Julia. Hi. Oh, this kid talks to you like a... No, I'm just kidding, really. Listen, bad news. I have a staff meeting, and I won't be off for another hour, so why don't you meet me under the tree? Can you get along without me? Yes, so I guess I can show Julia around. Okay, good. So I'll see you in an hour. All right. Okay. Have fun. Bye. Bye. Come on, let's go look around. If you need anything, you can get anything you want over here at the store. She went off a while ago by herself, said she had some stuff she wanted to do. What'd you buy? Cookies? Candy? Fabric? What's this for? Um, I decided I wanted to make something really different for the dance at the club. I thought you had decided on that blue check. I decided to change my image. Oh, well. What do you think of my cousin? I like her. She's kind of unusual. Did you know Peter has a crush on her? You're kidding! Peter has a crush on her? I don't believe it. It's usually the other way around. Hi, huh, Rachel. <laughs> you look great. Oh, wow. Fantastic. I just asked him to make me look half as nice as you. Well, are we all talking about the same, Rachel? Carolyn! Rachel! Oh, that's my boyfriend's mother. She's really nice. There's that nut Professor Jarvis. Let's go see him. <laughs> hi, hi, Professor. Oh, hi. I want you to meet my cousin. This is Julia Trent. Julie, how do you do? Hi. She's from the Ozarks. Really? Hmm. That's an interesting area. The bed of a lot of folklore and mysticism. I did field studies in that region some years ago. The people are as fascinating as the land. Professor Jarvis is our local expert on the occult. I am an anthropologist, but I guess I have become sort of an authority on, on that subject. I'm not actually from the Ozarks. It was my parents who moved there after I went away to school. and I just spent a few summers there. Interesting. The people there have a very distinctive look. You have the same facial features, the same eyes. That is interesting. Come on, Carolyn. Let's go. It's nice to meet you. Nice my to pleasure. Meet you. Your cousin seems disturbed about something. Well, Julia's parents died in a car accident recently. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. She's going to be staying with us. Oh? Dr. Morgan? Well, 
No, no, I... It's all right. I think if she keeps ice on it and rests, it'll be all right. Uh, would you like to go to your room? Yes. Tom, will you help her? Sure, come on, Julia. Careful. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Just keep your weight off. Boy, was that scary, Mrs. Bryant. I froze against that fence. I couldn't even move. I can't believe it. How's Julia? Your father thinks she's all right. But I don't know about that horse, Rachel. I just don't know. But Mommy didn't mean to hurt anybody. Rachel, how can you say that? Uh, listen, I think I'm going to be going now. Um, Rach, you want to get together tonight? You were out last night. You're staying home with your cousin. Mom, show a little consideration. Okay, okay. And don't speak to me in that tone of voice. Um, I'll see you, Rach. Bye. Fix that for you. How does that feel? Much better. You have such a gentle touch, Uncle Tom. Just Tom will be fine, Julia. Okay, Tom. family to play anymore. Sit down. Does your leg still hurt, Julia? Not too much, Aunt Leslie. You know, that horse should be shot. Shut up, Peter. As soon as I can arrange it, Sundance is going to be boarded at the club. At the club? But Dad, this is his home. We can't risk this sort of thing happening again. But Dad, he'll hate being with absolute strangers. And plus the fact he's not going to do it again. I promise. How can you be sure, Rachel? Could have killed Julia. Well, she must have done something to provoke him. Rachel. But, Mom, he's never been like that on anyone else but her. I mean, why can't we just keep him away from her? Rachel, this family's not being run solely for your benefit. If you can't keep that animal under control, we have no choice. Dad, he's never done anything like that before. Either Sundance stays at the club, or he goes for good. Hurry. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi. Now we're going for a walk. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost more games to you in the last two weeks than I've lost to anybody in the last two years. Mm. Who's your teacher? Nobody. I just play instinctively. <sighs> Something wrong? Oh, I think I just overdid the tennis a little bit today. <clears throat> Let me help. Just lean back and relax. Oh, yes. That's fantastic. I'm glad. It feels so good to do something for you. You've done so much for me. Oh. Hi, Rachel. Is that your new dress for the dance? Uh-huh. What do you think? Did you, uh, save the receipt? Daddy, I didn't buy this. I've been working on it for two weeks. Well, uh, could you take it in a little? Oh, I guess, but it's just not right, is it? I think it looks cute. It doesn't look cute. I mean, it just doesn't fit. There's nothing right about it. What am I gonna do? Could you take it apart and start over again? 
But I've already done that three times. It just doesn't go together in the dance. It's tomorrow night. Would you like to play another game? Sure. How long am I going to be like this? You should be cleared up in two or three days. Two or three days? But I, there's a dance tonight. Mom, the show? Do you think I can ride in the horse show tomorrow? We'll see how you feel in the morning, Rach. She should take one of these after every meal. Okay. It's strange. She has no history of anything like this. Not at all. you a favor. Do you think Julia could go to the dance without you? What are you talking about? Um, well, do you suppose Mike could take her? I mean, he's already got two tickets, and, and afterwards I'd bring her home. Mike's not planning to go now. Why would he want to take her anyway? What's it matter to you? Why do you care so much? <sighs> oh, well, it's just that, uh, I really want Julia to be there tonight. I'd like for her to hear me play. You know, it is one thing I can do, is play my guitar. I guess I just want her to see me. Okay. You mean you'll ask Mike? I said okay tonight. Oh, All right, right. Oh, I'm sorry. I'd kiss you, but uh, I don't want to catch anything. Don't do me any favors. Thanks, Rachel. It makes perfect sense, Ray. Julie would have just sat home if we didn't give her this little push. Now she's so excited. So you don't think Mike will mind driving her there, do you? I guess not. He was just going to come watch TV anyway. Oh, it's better if he gets out and shows her off to the local swains. It's time she met some boys. Right, Leslie? Julia, what's wrong? I can't go to the dance. I'm in my new dress. What is it? Nail polish. Oh. It'll never come out. Wait a minute. Rachel, you must have something she could borrow. Suppose I have some pink dress I made. 
Do you think it would fit? Rachel, would you mind if I tried it on? It's a shame to let it go to waste after all that work. Oh, thank you, Rachel. doing with these matches. This is Sundance's hair. Gone crazy, huh?
Peter, where's Julia? You said you were bringing her home. I don't know. Who was Michael bringing her home? I guess so. And they left after intermission. Julia and Michael? Yeah. You know, that's some terrific boyfriend you got, Rachel. You didn't let anybody get near Julia all night. It's a regular Casanova. Peter, I don't believe that. I sent him to take her as a favor. Peter? Rachel, is everything all right? Yeah, it's okay, Mom. Look, they never spoke to anybody all evening. They were so wrapped up in each other that they didn't even know that I was there or anybody was there. on the reins, don't tug. Be careful by that gate, because that's where he's most likely going to spook. Right. And, uh, don't look so nervous, okay? <laughs> a big smile the whole time. Okay. Right. Can I speak to you a minute, Mike? Well, I'm kind of busy right now, Ray. Well, that's okay. It's about my turn anyway. Uh, wish me luck, huh? Yeah, good luck. What happened to the highs you were supposed to have last night? You look just fine to me. Yeah, they disappeared overnight. It's one thing hives and boyfriends have in common. I guess you want to know what happened. Yes, I do. Well, I'll explain it if I could, but I just don't know myself. I mean, we didn't plan or anything, Ray. It just happened so fast. That... The way it did with us? No, not that way at all. You and I, we kind of grew into the thing. I mean, we'd known each other for so long, and then it was a friendship thing at first, and then it got to be more, but... Well, with Judy and I, the well, first time we danced. Oh, excuse me. Let me get the violins. I mean, for crying out loud. Listen, I'm sorry, all right? I really am. Rachel, you're about to start the trail class. Listen, I didn't want to hurt you. I wouldn't have hurt you for anything if I could have helped it. I still want us to be friends. It's OK. I've got plenty of friends, real friends. Good luck, Ray. Let's, Let's give, give a, a big, big hand, hand to the little lady. Nancy Springer. Springer. And to her horse, too, Black, Black Magic. Ah, it's a real nice performance. <laughs> now, last writer, but not least, Rachel Bryan on Sunday. Going all out for the blue ribbon this year. And I'm sure we all wish him the best of luck. Now, remember, in trail class competition, the name of the game is control and cooperation between the right and the horse. Rachel and Sundance have been one of the winningest teams around for the last three years. Uh, they're performing like old pros today. Beautiful performance. And hats off to their trainer, Mike Gallagher, by the way. Now, the trickiest event for any trail rider, the gate. Slow down. Don't scare him. Okay. Fine. <laughs> okay, just give me 
He's going to be okay, isn't he? No! He's going to be all right, isn't he? His leg is broken, Rachel. I know you don't want him to suffer. I know that. So hold him. Rachel? 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 I'm sorry, Rachel. There wasn't anything anyone could do. You know how much I care. Don't dare you care! You don't care! You hate him! It's gonna Rachel. get your woman! No, you have to tell him to let you know! Rachel! Still upset, are you? Not after all this time. It wasn't as though I could help it with Mike. These things sometimes happen, you know? You made it happen. You knew Mike was mine. People don't own other people, Rachel. Anyway, I didn't break anything up. Mike says you were just good friends. That you'd always been like a little sister to him. That's a lie! He may say that now, but he wouldn't have said that a month ago. I'm sorry. I guess things change. Oh, Rachel. Oh, you're leaving? Well, I was not my way out. What's on your mind? Well, see, I'm writing a short story, and I, I was wondering if I could ask you a quick question. Shoot. Well, I'm not quite sure how to put this, but how much can one person control another person's mind and feelings? For example? Well, I know this may sound crazy, but is it possible for a person to make uh, events occur? Well, we all make events occur every day of our lives. We dial a number. A telephone rings halfway around the world. The magic of yesterday is today's technology. Yes, but you know what I mean. It's extremely rare. But possible. Possible. But how? How is it done? Well, there are more techniques than you can shake a stick at. It depends on the person using the technique, the strength of her gift or his gift. A figure made out of wax? Could that be one of those techniques? See, well, that's what I'm doing my short story on. Why is a young, liberated woman like yourself interested in such things? I thought your interest was horses. 
I'm sorry. A person using a wax figure, could that person make something happen if they wanted to? It's possible, but... Look, you could start by turning from fantasy to something at least approaching fact. Now, if you'd like to talk to me later, stop by. I've got to be going. But if I showed you a wax figure, would you know if it was used for, well, evil? I'd know. Thanks. What are you doing still up? Waiting for you. That's very nice. But why? If your mother doesn't worry about me, there's surely no reason that you should. Your mother's a lot more trusting than I am. You're welcome for using my purse. Thank you. Why don't you get some sleep? I found the wax figure you made a Sundance. What wax figure? The one that was in your drawer. Uh-huh. And I found the picture of me that you painted to bring on those hives. Rachel, your imagination's getting the best of you. It's getting so I don't even know what you're talking about half the time. Now I know why Sundance attacked you. I know what you are and what you're doing. Sure you do. Yes, I do. And I'm going to make sure that you leave here. I think your parents might have something to say about that. They don't realize what you are. I do, and I'm able to prove it. A picture with spatter paint doesn't prove anything except that you were determined to turn everyone against me. And why, I don't know. I've tried to be friends with you. Oh, come on. Your family will know that you put the paint there. They love me. They're not going to believe your crazy accusations. And they're not crazy. I'm able to prove them. You know, you're acting real strangely. We're all worried about you, Rachel. I'm not going to my parents alone with this. I'm taking somebody with me. He'll know what the picture means in a minute. You don't know anybody like that. Oh, don't I? He's from the university. He knows a lot about witchcraft, and he's a good friend of my parents. Professor Jarvis? You mean that old man across the road? I wouldn't count him if I were you. Did you sleep here last night? Most of it. Did you and Julia have another argument? Dad, I just can't stand to be around her anymore. Rachel, I really don't know what to say. I knew having another girl in the house would be awkward at first, but... Uh, this petty jealousy has been going on for so long now. We've got to do something to ease the tension. Maybe you could move in with Bobby. <laughs> move in with Bobby? Why doesn't she move in with Bobby? Rachel, she's our guest. All right. OK. I'll move out. After all, we wouldn't want to inconvenience our poor Julia. Would we?
I've decided to change rooms. And I'm taking my stuff with me, including this. You might as well leave that. It doesn't fit you, and it's perfect on me. You gotta be kidding. You might have conned me into letting you wear it once. I'm not gonna give it to you. I made it for myself. <laughs> really? You're not gonna get away with this. I like my hairstyle this way, don't you? Makes my face look softer somehow. Mike likes it too. So does your father. Well, I can't stand a thing about you, and that includes your hair. Oh, rude. Oh, don't forget to leave enough hangers. Where is it? gonna die, do you? No. There was a pulse beat, a faint one. But it was there. The paramedic thinks it's a, a stroke. Go and see about Bobby, will you? I'm gonna lock up the house. Yeah, all right. Let's go inside, Pumpkin. It's getting awfully hot out here. And I'll fix you something cool to drink. Okay, Pumpkin? Come on. Rachel? Hi, George. It's a shame what happened to Professor Jobbers. Such a nice, friendly guy. Oh, well. There you go. Thanks. Okay. Hi, Mom. Ah, oh, don't worry. Mrs. Gallagher will call if there's anything to report. Is that today's mail? Yeah. Oh. Well, here's a letter for Julia. For Julia? From whom? Must be a friend from college. Somebody named Mary Concross from Boston. But I never heard talk about a friend by that name. As a matter of fact, I don't remember talking about any friends at all. Uh -huh. no. Here, take my these. Oh, Julia. Did you get your letter? Uh-huh. Oh, anything interesting? Not really. Just a uh, usual gossip. Mm. 
Any more news about the professor? The same. Mrs. Gallagher says she's never seen a man fight so hard. With such a will to live. Did you know he was seeing a heart specialist? No. No wonder. No, he didn't want anyone to know. He's such a feisty old man. I'll call the hospital right after dinner. Oh, you don't have to do that. I'm going there later tonight. You go to the hospital? Why should you do that? Mike's driving over to pick up his mother, and I asked to ride along. Well, I'm going, too. We're not going to stay. We're just going to pick up Mike's mother. Well, that's OK. I don't plan to stay long, either. Then why do you want to go? He's my friend. I'm allowed to see him. Oh, Mike won't mind either, Julia. Remember, he's as fond of me as if I was his little sister. Don't be so high-handed, Rachel. You just kill your own snakes, and I'll kill mine. What? Killing snakes? It's just a janky term. What I meant was, Rachel should mind her own business. She's not going with Mike no more, and there's no good reason she should shove him when she's not wanted. Julie, I don't see any harm in Rachel's going with you to the hospital. Professor Jarvis is her friend. Uh, she's concerned. We all are. You're right. I'm sorry. I guess I'm just so worried about the professor. This man absolutely must not be disturbed. So keep your voices low and your visit reasonably short. Hi, Mom. Hi, honey. Oh, pretty. Oh, thank you. Thank you. How is he doing? Well, at least he's holding his own. We should know one way or the other by morning. I'll come by tomorrow and sit with him for a while. I know what it's like not to have a family. I'd like to help the professor out as much as possible. Don't tell me it's the old professor. All right, people, you'll have to leave now. He's getting much too excited. Come on. time a witch is not in power is when she sleeps. At all other times, in a thousand devious ways, either through objects, events, or minds, a true witch will manipulate her way towards greater power to do evil. Boy, it's bad enough having my sister take over my room. Now she won't even let me sleep. Drop dead, Bobby.
over here. I'll sleep on the couch. Oh, good. Dear Julia, the whole family's looking forward to you being here a whole week. I've told Mom so much about your singing. She's insisting on a house party to show you off. I told her you were the next prima donna of the New York Met. Write a call soon and let me know what flight you'll be on. Love, Mary. Boston, Massachusetts, 617. Five 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 seven three three seven. Mary Concross, please. Well, this is Mary. Do you know what time it is? Look, I'm sorry. This is Rachel Bryant, Julie Trent's cousin. She went to college with you. Julia, is she okay? I've been waiting to hear from her. Well, Julia's fine. She's living here with us now in California. Her parents were killed early this summer in a car accident, and... Oh, no! How is she? Can I talk to her? Oh, um, no. No, Julia's not here right now, but... Well, I'm not sure, really. Um, oh, but she has to. Julie's a spark plug for everything. She's in charge of the Talent Day program, president of the Women's Glee Club. The Glee Club. Julia sings. <laughs> Julia? Well, sometimes I think the only time she isn't singing is when she's eating or sleeping. Who'd you say you were? Because Julia always hated horses. What? Do you know, did she ever have anything to do with witchcraft? Graveyard shift. Listen, I'm sorry to be calling you in the middle of the night, but I know how concerned you all were about the professor. The old guy's had a rally tonight. The doctors think he's gonna live. So he's conscious? Not only is he conscious, but he's talking. He asked about you. He asked how you were. Are you okay? What nurse are you working with tonight? Duncan. Why? Is she friendly? If you like Doberman Pinscher, she's friendly. What's up? I have a favor to ask of you. I had a feeling you were going to ask me that. Um, we're sneakers.
Rachel. I had to come to see you. I'm almost positive that Julia's got to definitely be a woman. I know what you're thinking. Evidence becoming rather overwhelming. <laughs> Circumstantial. I need one thing that I can show anybody that will prove what she is. A witch. A true witch cannot be photographed. She literally cannot reflect the light. You're kidding. A machine has no mind that can be coerced. A camera will only show what's there. Nothing. At least, nothing of the flesh. She did disappear, just once for a second. I'm the only one that saw it. Oh, and I thought it was the medicine. She's new at it, just coming into her full powers. Developing fast, very fast. We have to be extremely careful. <laughs> Remember what I told you. It's our only hope. Your mother will believe her own eyes. That's her profession. Turn in your uniform and get out. As for you, you better have a pretty good excuse. She's a, a friend. I asked her to come. Now I'm going to give you a count of five to get out of my sight. One, two, three, four. Another stunt like that and you will be canned. Sleep through the whole morning. Are you feeling all right? Oh, yeah, I'm just preoccupied. Still worried about Professor Jarvis? I called the hospital myself again. I don't know what the story is, but for at least a couple of days, they're not allowing any visitors. Oh? Well, I'm sure it'll be all right, but... Um... You know, Rachel, I've been wondering. Would you like to drive up north with me tomorrow? I just have a little business to do. We could spend half a day together, relax a little, and be back by dinner. What do you say? I guess. Okay. Great. Oh, well, another thing. How about being model for me for 15 minutes or so? I just need to get a couple of simple boy-girl shots. If Mike's home, we can get him. It'll be like old times. Mom, I'm not posing with Mike. It'll just be too awkward. For oh, goodness sake, Rachel, it's only for a picture. Hmm? Why don't you get Julie to do it? Well, you said you were wanting to photograph her. Well, I guess she'll have to do. It's just that she's never seemed very interested in being photographed. Well, she's just shy. Look, don't take no for an answer. Mm. Remember the house rule. Everyone's on permanent modeling call at all times and no exceptions. No exception. Right. Okay. Oh, uh, Rachel, I'm glad you're coming with me tomorrow. Me too. Julia's film first, aren't you? Have to wait until tomorrow, Ray. 
I have two rolls of shots for Southern Byway. They have to be printed for the trip tomorrow morning. But can't we at least develop it? I want to see how Julia came out. I'll tell you how she looked in the viewfinder. Nervous as all get out. I don't think there'll be much to use anyway. But I'll print it up as soon as we get back tomorrow. I do want to get an early start, by the way, so we can do some sightseeing. Okay. Julia will love seeing the mountains. Julia's coming with us? Well, she asked if she could come along. Now, I couldn't say no, perhaps. Mother, no! You told me it'd just be the two of us. I don't want her to come along. I don't like her. A day of doing something pleasant might get you two back together. Now, can't we at least try to get along, Ray? It won't be that long before Julia goes back to school and things will be normal again. So you're looking forward to her going back, too? No, I didn't say that. So I'm not the only one. You feel it, too? Mother, there is something evil about Julia. Please, don't start off. But on. it's true. Julia is not what she pretends to be. She does terrible things to people, to Professor Jarvis, to Sundance, to all of us in this house. Rachel, stop! But, Mother, it's true. She is performing some kind of black magic right up in my bedroom. Julia is a witch. She is some kind of a witch. <gasps> she is my sister's child. <laughs> Mother, you developed that proof. And prove it to yourself. Get out of here. Mother, please. I don't want to see you again until you get that filth out of your head. <laughs> and up here, it's pretty rugged country. Striking scenery. Oh, it sounds so beautiful. Could I take the map to my room tonight and study it for a while? Sure, you keep as long as you want. Thanks. I'm ashamed at how little I know about my adopted state. <laughs> well, I wish I was going. You know, the open air opera is up in these mountains. And they'll probably be rehearsing while you're up there. Do you like the opera? I never heard any opera. I don't know much about music. But I thought you were in the glee club. What? Oh, nothing. Never mind. I'd like to talk to you about Julia. I don't really know how to say this, but... 
Don't you think you've been paying a little too much attention to her? I know for you it, it's just joking around, but for her it can have a whole different meaning. Don't be ridiculous. Don't you even want to talk about it? I thought you were going to go with Mom. Well, I was going to, but I changed my mind. I guess Mom's driving scares everybody off. I mean? Well, Julie got sick. Mom told her to stay in bed. Well, people sure do get sick easy around here. Well, you mean Mom went alone? Yep. Should I wait before trying it on? No, go ahead. Cousin Julia, who are you? I'm Sarah, your aunt and uncle's cleaning gal. I killed them all to get here, just like I'm gonna kill your mother and you. Oh, my God. 
There's a bank up here. It's kind of there's a canyon. Is that where we're headed? How much further is it? It's not far. Wait a minute. Is that your mother's car? <laughs> Julia's. But I knew it wasn't Julia when I talked to that girl in Boston. She said Julia was in the choir. Sarah said she didn't know a thing about music. Well, it seems that Sarah Brown worked a year for your aunt and uncle. So she would have had plenty of time to find out all about them. Even the fact that they'd never sent a photo of Julia to you. She was a clever girl. She almost got away with it. See you again. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thanks. All I remember about the last week was waking up in front of the dark room. The rest seems as if it never happened. I hope we can all forget eventually. Rachel, I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Will you forgive me? Of course. A little surprise for you. Susan Peterson? Yes. Am I early? No, you're right on time. Elizabeth, do you want to say hello to your new governess? Good morning, Elizabeth. You and I are going to be great friends. <laughs> 